They beat France at the weekend, now they beat the Dutch. Uh, at the game for us was Archie Rinter, who joins us now. Archie, all is well in the German world. It thought that before the weekend. In fact, before the weekend, I was thinking, this Germany side, the way that they've been playing, will they be able to get out of the group? Such has been the doom and gloom here. And yet now, after these two performances, against France and against the Netherlands, particularly the one tonight where they go behind to an early goal. It's through a mistake from Maximilian Mittelstädt. But for Mittelstädt, who is one of the newbies in this squad, to come through and then get over that mistake with that goal, but also just his general all-round performance, it's indicative to me of a Germany team under Julian Nagelsmann, who's made big changes to his squad since the international fixtures against Austria and Turkey. But ultimately, this is a team that is working for each other. And when the players are coming on, as Julian Nagelsmann, the coach, has pointed out, there's an acceptance of, of everybody's roles in the squad. And I don't know if that was the same thing when there were more Bayern and Dortmund players in the squad who have been culled for now and will find it difficult to get back into it come the Euros, the likes of Mats Hummels, Serge Gnabry, Leon Goretzka, Julian Brandt, Niklas Sula. Nico Schlotterbeck, I think that they'll do well to get back in because of how good an impression that these players have made on Nagelsmann, but also how I think they've made everybody in Germany who was quite, I would say, nonplussed by the Euros coming, not as much as you would think a country like Germany would be excited for the tournament. Now people are getting into full swing. <clears throat> Yeah, just to take us a little bit deeper into that, how apathetic were the fans going ahead to the tournament, which, of course, Germany hosts? And how has these two results changed that rhetoric? The fact that there was a whole discussion before this game about what the goal music should be for when they score, that tells you that there was newfound confidence after the France game. And even the way that the fans responded after they went behind tonight, where they started singing. And let me tell you that German fan culture for international games is very different to that for club football, where we know what the atmospheres are generally like. A word on the Dutch, Archie? I was so disappointed with just the lack of a recognisable plan for, for a, a country with the there where I think they have so many ta so many talented players on the ball and yet when they were circling the ball round the back they didn't really know what, how much further or where the routes were forward I'm encouraged by defensively how they did look at least solid uh, with, with with that back three but I think that actually <clears throat> the players in front of them and what they were giving defensively is worrying and from thinking well the Netherlands should be a side which will be competing this summer. I thought Germany were miles better than them. And given what they showed against Scotland the other night, they were not good for an hour or so. So, yeah, if I was a Dutch fan, I'd be a little bit nervous going into the summer.